In fact, uh, Mr. Han has just walked in into the voting station where I am now. If you pan, uh, we can actually see him in the corner there. Uh, he's actually just stepped in to vote in a temple called Puyuan Temple in southern Kaohsiung. Uh, this is, this is, uh, he, uh, in a he, he is extremely popular where in southern Kaohsiung, where the rural vote is strong. He's popular throughout Taiwan among rural voters and among the older demographic, that is people above the age of 40. Uh, really, he, his appearance on the political scene, uh, his appeal as an everyman and his manner of speaking appeals to a widely marginalised uh, group of people who has been feeling that the policy elites, the political elites from both major parties, the Democratic Progressive Party and the have not been able to speak to them, have not been able to take care of their needs. So ever since Mr Han became mayor of Kaohsiung, he has been taking care of matters at the grassroots, uh, repairing roads, for instance, uh, listening to people's problems at the very ground level. Um, many people have accused him of being short on policy proposals, being vague on policy positions, and that he's only been able to criticise his rival, uh, the DPP, Tsai Ing-wen, on, on her stance on China uh, without giving actual concrete solutions himself. But that's, that's the appeal. Like He speaks to uh, frustrations of the every man, uh, people who see that um, the current ruling party's stance on China is choking economic livelihoods, it's affecting their lives. Uh, he's been able to win support from, from this ground. Uh, Lynette, yes, and in a poll uh, recently by televised channel TVBS, uh, we know that Mr Han was leading at 29%. No, he's rather he's tailing behind Ms Tsai. Ms Tsai is at 45%. But has there been any show of strength amongst his supporters there? There has been, and uh, there are a lot of people who have been invigorated from the Kuomintang party that were previously apathetic, that were previously, uh, you know, too lazy to come out to vote because their vote wouldn't matter. He has invigorated a lot of these people to be politically active again. But then again, uh, again, Kaohsiung is 2.3 million, uh, the vote among the Kuomintang, people are even smaller, and that's just a very small fraction of the 19 million voter population in Taiwan. And we do know that the youth vote, the youth turnout, is always critical. Uh, in the last election, the turnout among the youth was 74% compared to the national average of 66%. So the youth does have a very strong, decisive... It's a very strong, decisive factor in the election, and it does appear that if Mr... Han can uh, en engage and encourage more people above the age of 40 to come out and vote, this could certainly turn the tide in his favour. Most recently, last month, a Japanese diplomat did estimate that the, the margin that Ms. Tsai could win would be as narrow as 5%. So the race could indeed be closer than initially thought.